I live kind of quietly and I, I don't like to go out and do like crazy things. So I think my pictures reflect some sort of quietness and you know, even with like the lighting and stuff like that. So if I was to explain my visual style, I think I, I would say that. And I think it's, it, it, you know, people always, I mean, I'm starting to learn this now, but people think that quiet or like being silent is boring, but I, I think total opposite. I started off as film and um, you know I never was really like a hardcore full artist and full film like when I went to film school I would go in there and people would name all these movies and all these directors I'd be like what the fuck are you guys talking about I, I came from more like theater and like but not like a theater nerd like I, I picked up on art like really late so when I graduated undergrad, I said, you know what, I need to improve my, uh, my visual aesthetics. So I decided to take one photo class, everybody was raving about it, they were like, take this class, take this class. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll take this fucking class. And I took it, I hated it, I hated it so much. I was like, this is so fucking corny. And I was like, you know, I just was glad to get out of that class, but <clears throat> uh, other people was like, you should take Paul Jasmine's fashion class at Art Center. And uh, I took it about five, five times. And I started off, I had to fight for my stuff because when I took the class, there were really good photographers in there and they would get like the best models. And then I had to work with, uh, you know, the people that they didn't want to shoot, which, were, which was great because um, I learned that, you know, you have to kind of, dig deeper and then find like the person and take the picture of like who they really are and that's how you get like a good picture I think. My film stuff has definitely influenced my photo stuff because coming knowing like a little bit about actors and knowing about directors and how to direct and how to like light how to do all that stuff it kind of helps you figure out how to see people and how you want to portray people. And especially like directing wise, you know, you can get models or people to do stuff that you want or as much as they want to get. So what do you look for? Uh, I've, I've been looking for the same thing ever since I started and um, some sort of emotion, I think. Even with, it doesn't have to have a person in it, but some sort of emotion. Like I don't worry about the light and all that shit and composition. Fuck, I throw that shit out the window. But if I can get like a solid, truthful, honest emotion out of the picture, that's all I want. Then I've kind of forced myself to go by the bare minimum of like photo equipment or film equipment and really focus on the content. But I only have one stock of film. And I know like a lot of people can get wrapped up in, you know, this film is a little bit more contrasty or, you know, it has a nice green tint and... But I don't want to be worrying about that when I'm shooting a picture. I mean, I just, I just want to get the image. Or a movie, like I don't want to be worrying about, you know, the vertical lines and how this is going to be compressed for web or, you know, how the highlights are going to be blown. You know, if, if I'm worrying about that, I'm worrying about the wrong thing as well director or as a photographer. I would look through some of my friends' work and just really be blown away. And I think for influence, I think that's what I like because I like to know the person and I like to ask them, you know, not really about their work, but about who they are and why would they take this kind of picture. And those are the kind of people that, uh, you know, influence me. And especially when I talk to them or when I hang out with these people. 
we would rarely talk about work or about art and stuff like that, which is great because I don't like talking about that shit. But we just talk about life and who we are and, you know, how can we be decent human beings. It's like right now, I'm not even trying to be, I'm not even trying to like, you know, hustle or get like work or I'm not even trying to do all that. I'm not even trying to be, an, I'm not even trying to be an artist, honestly. I'm just trying to be a decent human being. So, as long as you can do that, I think that's what matters. Bye-bye.